The race to make the most powerful solar panels has a new champion with an amazing new 750 watt solar panel. Since the early 2020s, we've seen a race to build the most powerful panels. Twina Solar started with the first panel rated at 600 watts at a Solar Expo in China, launching the Trina Vertex 600. Jinko Sol Solar followed soon after with their 610 watt Tiger Pro panel. Not to look behind, six months Trina Solar took over the mantle in 2021 with the launch of a 660 watt panel Trina Vertex 660. After that early one-two punch, the market has now got inundated with 600 watt panels. We just saw the world's first 750 watt panel from Huasan, the Himalaya GG12 heterojunction HJT panel that uses N-type HJT bifacial cells. HJT solar cells combine the advantages of crystalline silicon and amorphous silicon thin film technologies to improve conversion and power output. Now, the main driver for developing these larger, more powerful solar panels stems from the desire to decrease the cost of utility scale solar farms and ultimately reduce electricity prices. Larger panels require an equivalent amount of connections and labor as compared to smaller panels. Thus, installation costs are reduced, resulting in overall lower cost and also decreased maintenance costs over time. These higher powered panels are far larger than those used on residential rooftops. Those wishing to use 10 700 watt panels on their home rooftop to get an easy 7kW system will be disappointed. At this stage, most of these high powered panels are only available for commercial and utility scale systems. Plus, the extra large panel sizes are very challenging to handle on most residential rooftops. Their larger sizes make them unsuitable for smaller roofs and, of course, homes with multiple roof sections. Interestingly, premium module manufacturers like REC and SunPower, now called Maxion, and QCell are not racing to develop larger format high power panels. Instead, these companies are focused on supplying their traditional residential and small commercial customer base with more compact, high efficiency panels. So let's look at how these panels compare in sizes and efficiencies with some of the world's leading high efficiency 700 watt plus kind of panels. The most efficient top selling solar panels from brands like Maxion, QCell, and REC are all around 70 inches by 45 inches, give or take. They all have efficiencies in the 22% plus range, going up to 24%. Compare that with the largest 650 and 700 750 watt panels from Trina, Watson, and Jinko. These panels are all around 90 inches by 50 inches. These panels also have efficiencies in the 20 to 24% range, with the Huasan 750 watt panel leading the pack. Now, the adoption of new solar cell technologies like high performance N type silicon wafers, as opposed to cheaper P type silicon wafers, have led to innovations like. HJT, the heterojunction, the Topcon or the tunnel oxide passivating contact cells that power these new larger solar panels. In the future, perovskite cell technology is expected to become stable, and this is going to allow manufacturers to create the next generation of tandem cells with power levels going up to 800 watts. Residential solar panels will continue to see innovation leading to more compact, higher efficiency and higher wattage panels with smaller sizes. Now, if you want to learn about the best residential panels available today, you can check out my recent top solar panels of 2024 video where I introduced the REC 470 watt panel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe and see you the next time.